Next up on the docket, we have the Supreme and North Face collection, which actually dropped on Thursday. So it's sort of long gone by now, but you know, seeing as I recorded this before and I didn't actually get a chance to say anything about it, I thought I'd do it again in it because why the F not? So this might be, as I mentioned in the other episode, this possibly might be my most favorite Supreme collection they've done so also people no face collaboration they've done maybe in recent years um number one obviously because the design is a bit different you've got this amazing uh shell jacket with pockets all over the front which is kind of reminiscent to a really cool collaboration i remember double taps doing with maybe hater porter or something like that i remember it being a really cool collaboration with those pockets all over the jacket mostly you know not just the front along the arms the back as well it was bloody incredible so it kind of removes it of that or really cool um fisherman type jackets that you know and love from other i forgot what the companies are but you know very traditional fisherman type anorak sort of jacket vibe that reminds me of and oddly enough i'm not really a fan of the tracksuit look that supreme does with north face but i think this looks actually pretty good as a as a tracksuit two-piece so um this news came uh, i think when was this the other day right uh it says he um uh supreme has worked with the north face on a new collection for spring 2020 the collection consists of a cargo jacket cargo vest belted cargo pant t-shirt adventure tote uh sun shield cam cat and floating keychain oh yeah the other the second thing that's the best in this collection is the tote bag the tote bag's bloody beautiful it says here yeah, made exclusively for supreme the cargo jacket features water resistant nylon with fully seam sealed construction the cargo vest features water resistant nylon and a breathable mesh while the belt cargo pant features water resistant nylon with rip offs to lower his legs the adventure tote features a resistant 400d nylon and then you actually see the stuff and you're like god damn they snapped on this absolutely snapped so you got the jacket featured there and it comes this amazing sort of like tie-dye-ish print you should dip dye i'm not sure what that fucking application is on the actual color of it but it looks banging kind of reminds me a little bit of something you might get from like cp company or stone island actually in that regard very 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 beautifully done and then of course you've got the image there with the same jacket with the uh, the uh, review from the back i'm not a fan of the back pocket that a lot of these supreme tends to be going for these jackets with this massive pocket at the back and i'm also not a fan of this you know the entire front of supreme on the back pocket i would rather much rather it be a tonal thing you know maybe a white tone or an off-white tone or gray tone or something matching some of the colors out in the back um that would make it a little bit more in a little bit less brazen to look at because you know they've already you've already got two logos here on the on the sleeve we don't need an additional one here in the back but you know maybe it's a tie-in with the with the with the logo here in the back i don't know but i would prefer a little bit less of the big supreme root on there but again who am i and this is probably my favorite color in the khaki it looks stupendous man it looks so so good nice big snap buttons out the front as well it looks like right and some fastening hooks there as well at the top oh so well done man really 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 well done and then of course what else do you have here then you've got the vest and the shorts the vest i'm not really a big fan of i think vest are you know i think kids tend to like or younger people tend to like the vest a little bit more maybe because it's a bit more of a versatile piece so you don't have to carry like a tote bag or a satchel you know i'd imagine or like a bum bag thing over your chest or a really big jacket a vest kind of is a bit of a cheat in that regard right it kind of is a bit of a layer and you can also stuff things in the pockets which you know when you're a kid at that age and you're just about in the scene that's what you always got you've always got stuff on you i remember that was how i was always had little trinkets in my pockets but of course this is one of my other favorite bits in the collection this tote bag is absolutely banging my only um reservation or indication about it is would have been i would have liked to have seen another strap on the inside that kind of goes across your body but I know a lot of companies don't tend to make their bags like that, maybe because it's uncomfortable for it to be slapping against your thigh, this big thing. But I don't know, maybe that's why they've made the shoulder straps adjustable because they look pretty cool. I like the idea of having sh adjustable shoulder straps. Yeah, adjustable, you know, hand, yeah, shoulder straps, yeah, shoulder straps. I think they look pretty cool. Um, done really well. Again, nice tie dye, loads of nice p compartments everywhere, zips and buttons and whatever to stuff things in and yeah and it's got I'm, I'm assuming like a good unconstructed bottom so it's not rigid you can just stuff things in there and you can take the form of whatever you stuff in it that'll be a good thing and again a little strap on the middle of the bag as well where the zip goes so that you can fasten some things down and make sure nothing is spilling out 
right? But yeah, very, very well done with the shorts too. The toe is a sleeper pick, and you've got the cap, which I would be a fan of if I didn't have this huge hair. That cap would go a long way in my collection, but unfortunately, the hair doesn't permit me to wear any kind of supreme cam cats there. They're not in my reality, unfortunately. <laughs> so, here's again the tie dye jacket, looks absolutely banging, really well done. Again, I would have preferred to have seen the the pocket without the massive logo on the back or maybe done in a kind of a tonal way but i think it's actually embroidered on so there's no way of getting that off unfortunately um which is a good thing for quality you know it means it's embroidered it's actually going to finish pretty well and again the white is the same right it's looking why does the screen printed to you what do you think i don't know maybe that is screen printed i don't know if you've got the jacket yourself leave me a comment in the below and let me know if that front and the back is actually screen printed or embroidered because that looks quite interesting regardless and I'm assuming it's the same here for the hood and it yeah it's just too many supreme tags all over it I don't know when that happened actually with them they usually would have in days gone by they would have maybe had a little red tab somewhere maybe they stopped doing the red tabs based on Levi's I don't know maybe it's a copyright infringement or trademark infringement I'm not too sure but I would prefer less you know less of the stamps all over the place and more subtle nods as to who done the collaboration that would be a lot better to do and of course in the quintessential black that looks banging you can see someone like Drake wearing this and it he loves wearing these sort of light jackets um yeah really well done man i'll take each one easily of course and then next you've got the vest which again i'm not not a big fan of but i like the finish of it of course i think the vest probably looks best in the black right the tactical vest or something a lot better in that sort of colorway and you've got the pants that you can zip uh the legs off i'm assuming and switch them around or turn them into shorts which is quite a good into which is quite a cool little trick there they've done with the actual pants i think it looks pretty cool yeah why didn't they make the yeah why didn't they make the color of the back print the same color oh it's the same black i thought it's kind of a lilac my bad let's continue uh, then you got what are these shorts as well so there's shorts and there's those things that we saw i'm assuming or oh, is that different I'm not too sure then you've got the t-shirt that they did the profits too right and you've got a tote bag of course that comes in the same colors i'm assuming as the jacket yep black that sort of tie dye material and of course the khaki so yeah and the hat as well to finish things off or no the key to finish off as well but yeah very, very very well done man one of my favorite collections so far easily from supreme in terms of their four winter stuff and which um no, instead of their in terms of their north face collaborations because usually um you would say their best outwear comes during the winter and it's so for them to pull out something like that out of the bag during this during the you know, summer times is something to be congratulated on for sure 